Good morning, fellow apps and traders. This is Jeff, and this is the Daily Scan for Wednesday, March 6, 2013. Uh, we uh, have uh, new highs in most of the major indices yesterday, so if you've been bullish, if you just are a bullish trader and believe that the market's going to do nothing but go up, with uh, some minor corrections along the way, you've done very well, especially if you got in uh, back in March of 2009, which I think was the low for the um, for the S&P 500, and that's the one that I focus on mostly myself. I believe that SPX was around 666 back in March of 2009, and so it has more than doubled since then. So that's um, that's good for the bulls, especially if you got in back then. Uh, this is the third take of this video. <laughs> I don't know. My I think my head's feeling a little foggy this morning. It's not a hangover or anything. It must be just getting old, I guess. I'm not sure. It just feels a little foggy. Uh, let's take a look at what's going to be happening for um, news today. Schedule news. We have the. ADP employment report, factory orders, petroleum status report, and the beige book. And the beige book is basically um, every, I think it's every six weeks or so, uh, one of the Federal Reserve chairmen's uh, write a little uh, something about how they think the economy is doing and where it's headed. And that publication usually gives... Uh, investors, not necessarily traders, but investors, an eye on, you know, where the economy may be going and what kind of decisions the Federal Reserve might be making. But I'm not so sure how much the beige book matters now because Uncle Ben has said that he's going to keep interest rates low for this year and maybe most of next year, too. So... Uh, meaning low, if he's saying where they're at, they're practically nothing right now, which is uh, why it's a good time to be in the market um, instead of having a regular old savings account. All right, so uh, back to our think or swim platform here. All right, now we are ready to rock and roll. All right, so with this... Uh, Yesterday I talked about a double calendar on IWM, and that's what I did, and we'll peek, take a peek at it on the risk profile. Um, after I got in, of course, it kept moving up, so we're, um, we're down just a hair here, but I'm not really worried that much about it. Um, however, if it continues to march relentlessly, and we have a little bit of time here, um, upward, and I don't think it's going to have enough time to come back and give us some profit here, I'll be getting out. So we're just going to keep an eye on that. Uh, the rest of the account is doing okay. Um, the insurance policy on here on the SPY is not paying anything out yet, but that's okay. That's an insurance policy. If it makes money, great. If it doesn't, it's okay, too. Uh, Amazon, we're still waiting for that to come down. Remember, we were looking for that to... We'll take a look at Amazon here. We were looking for that to come in below this 260 level here, and it continues to march up. And that was a one-to-one -one risk reward, so that's okay. Uh, we still have a week and a half on that one. And, of course, Chipotle and Panera are um, bull put spreads, and in this market they're doing just fine, too. And take a peek at um, what might be happening today, and it looks like as though the market's going to open up slightly. All right, let's jump right over to the A-plus list. I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter. Okay, uh, Apple had a nice day yesterday. A little bit of pullback later on in the day, but it finally had a good day. 
uh, let's see, open at 421 and close at 431, so that's a $10 day for Apple, and that's pretty good. Nice, uh, Apple's a nice intraday trade for options or day trading options. And I might be talking about that sometime in the future. It may be way in the future, though. <laughs> um, Amazon, we're in Baidu. We had an alert on that yesterday, and it did not trigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that alert up. And the reason why is we're still getting an indicator here that we may be uh, moving to the downside. And I want to zoom in on this a little bit. And the weekly here. Now we're still moving down on the average for the MACD. We do have a move up here on the weekly, so we don't really have any confirmation. Uh, but I'm still going to move this up and take a look at it. doesn't mean I'm going to actually get into it. So I'll move it up here. Just a little bit below the low from yesterday. And that should be good enough for that one. We'll still keep an eye on that. CF we also had an alert on. And it sort of has a doji here almost uh, which is a reversal indicator if it's at the high and then that means it may reverse down I also am going to move this alert up closer to the low from yesterday so they're still <clears throat> they're still looking good here um, on the stochastic the MACD are not getting much agreement here but we are on the weekly so it looks pretty much the same as Baidu right about now. It doesn't mean we're going to jump in. We're just going to keep an eye on it. Chipotle, we're in. Salesforce. Uh, maybe running out of gas here. We have a hook down and a potential hook down here. But we're in an uptrend. So there may be a little bit of a correction here, and then it may continue up. So we'll just keep an eye on that one. Google. It had a very good day yesterday. We had a gap up from around uh, 821 to 828, and then close at 840. Or have, hit the high of 840 yesterday, a new high for Google. Good for them. I think that uh, you know Google is definitely watching everything that you do, and I've been getting some you know more junk email <laughs> than I can handle, and it just keeps increasing. And I just only have Google to blame for that. But man, I'll tell you, their search engine works so good, and it's so easy to use. But I probably should pull away from it, but I'm not going to for right now. Uh, MasterCard, we are in on that one, that one. We have this uh, double calendar, and we're moving up into a potentially high profit zone. Expiration coming this March. This uh, profit, though, is going to start to come down a little bit as we move up because IV is going to decrease. And it's also going to decrease as we get a little bit closer to um, or on the uh, uh, on the short because it's getting closer to expiration. It's not going to be a lot, maybe you know, it's going to be intense, but uh, it's still going to come down a little bit. But that's okay, you know, if you still pull. You know, 300 bucks out of this thing, that would be a good trade. All right. Okay. Um, Netflix. Go back here. Netflix. Okay. We may have an entry coming up here. So let's put a little circle, a little target here. And this is what we're. Come on. This is what the area that we're going to be shooting for is down here. 
So we'll be watching for that on Netflix. Priceline. Uh, Priceline's moving up. No doubt about it. So we're in an uptrend and everything's up here. We're looking for an entry on a pullback. I know I sound like a broken record, but uh, I had some people ask me why what motivates me to make these daily videos and what motivates me is that my trading has actually improved since I started doing it because I'm just you know like laying it all out there and putting my heart on my sleeve and um, for all to see and it actually gives me a little bit more discipline and more focus so it's helped me, so I am going to continue to do it, just for that reason alone. Um, that's really all that I have for today. I keep it short. There's not a lot happening out there as far as entry opportunities. Again, you know, if you're a bullish person, um, I know what I should do. I should take a look at, at the uh, double calendars that I have in... Uh, or the trades that I have in my paper account. So I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to pull that account up. Hang on. All right, uh, here we go. This is the uh, paper trading account here. Um, Amazon and CF. CF uh, not doing well, but the other three are. Let's take a look at them on the Analyze tab. I think if I have time today... I will close this uh, this end of the trade. I'll close the uh, uh, bear call side on this one. On CF, I will close the bull put side today. The rest, Chipotle, MasterCard, and Priceline, I will uh, let them run since expiration is March so that's next a week from this Friday um, the cues my covered call here um, I might get called away on this I don't know we're right right at 60 oh that covered calls at 60 no it's not it's at 69 um, I don't know it might get called away and then uh, I don't have anything on the spiders right now, so let me just, oops, let me get rid of that. And get rid of this. There, all right. So that's where um, that one is hanging out. And it's profitable right now. And we always like to come out ahead for a month. We don't have to be millionaires, but we like to come out ahead. And if this was in an account that I was checking daily, I would have done something about CF a long time ago. Because when you get that gap down on earnings, that's uh, really it can't. It's difficult to recover from that. So I might have saved a little bit of money by getting out a little bit earlier on that. But being that this is in my paper account, I don't pay a lot of attention to it. So um, looking like as though I just might go live with this. Um, in uh, April that's a possibility all right so a quick review of my test iron condors in the paper account on my a plus list underlines and uh, basically that's it for today I'd like to thank you for watching have a great day and happy trading